Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to be doing the 10 minute art challenge for you. Uh, I was tagged by Sheldine Fine Art and if you are not familiar with her channel, I highly recommend that you check that out. I will be uh, posting a link to her channel in the comment section below. Um, she works in colored pencil and she does beautiful, beautiful work, and she is an incredible person inside and out, uh, in a very dear friend of mine. In fact, she drew my portrait, which is right back there on the wall, if you can see it. It's a little bit in shadow, but um, it's one of my most prized possessions here in my studio. So if you haven't checked out her channel, I highly recommend that you do so. Um, so the uh, rules of this challenge, there are three, and the first rule is uh, that you can start with either white or black paper or canvas. Uh, the second rule is that you can have your image lightly drawn out on your paper or canvas beforehand, which is great for me because it takes me forever to draw my images out on paper, and that would take like way more than 10 minutes to do that part alone. Uh, and the third part is that you have to have your painting or drawing done in 10 minutes. So I've never put a time restriction on my work before and I'm a little stressed out, I guess, because um, I'm quite the introvert and uh, having a camera on me along with the time limit is a little unnerving. So we will see how I do on this. Um, uh, I'm not going to be using uh, my medium of choice, which is what I've been using for the last three years in my current series, um, which is what basically this channel is all about. Me working in uh, acrylic uh, India and alcohol inks. I cannot use those because uh, of the time restriction. It, I, it takes a long time for my inks to dry before I can move from one area of a painting to another, so that obviously wouldn't work for me. So I am going to be using my next uh, medium of choice, which is watercolor. I used to work in watercolor quite often. I have not used watercolor in a long time, so I'm very rusty. I'm just going to warn you right now. So I don't even know if this is going to turn out, but this is what I'm going to be using. So. Um, I'm not going to stall any further, uh, so I will see you in just a minute uh, at my desk and we will get started. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, so I'm settled in and I am ready to begin. And I have my image sketched out. I'm going to be painting uh, a kingfisher bird. Um, and I have, what am I using here? I'm using a cold pressed 100% uh, cotton, 140 pound by uh, Aquarell Arches. And I'm using a watercolor block. And uh, my medium of choice is going to be these core uh, watercolors. And I have not really had a chance to use these very much. And I only have a set uh, of 12 in this palette. So, um, I'm already noticing that my my choice of colors is going to be somewhat limited. So not only am I going to be using something that is very new to me, but I'm not going to have a whole lot of choices. But I figure I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to be blending colors anyway. So that could work in my favor. So, all right, can you tell I'm stalling? I'm stalling. So I've got my timer set to 10 minutes. And I have not planned any of this out. I have no idea what colors I'm going to use. This is going to be totally off the cuff. Um, so let's just see what uh, we can do in 10 minutes. And I am ready to begin. Oh, let me swap, swap paint brushes real quick. <laughs> and here we go.
This really just doesn't give you much of a chance to think at all. Just got to kind of lay everything down. funny because I think I have a lot of time and I know darn well that I don't. I'm going to be careful not to get into that eye quite yet. This is going to be a very abstract painting I can already tell. Oh boy. I feel like I've already wasted way too much time here. I gotta get gotta get this bark laid down here. Alright, I'm already running behind. I'm going to have to dry brush this a little. There's a little bit of this green for a little mossy effect. Oh my gosh. I got five minutes left. A little over five minutes left. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Have to move to the bigger brush. Less than five minutes. to start adding in a little bit of detail or it's not going to look like anything so far it doesn't look much like anything at all Oh 
Okay. Oh my goodness, three and a half minutes. Gosh. Oh my goodness. I keep saying that like it's gonna change anything. I'm so I'm feeling so limited in my color palette. I just don't hardly have I don't have any colors really that I want to use with this. It's a very very limiting palette. That's disappointing, but there's only 12 colors, so I suppose it's just the stress talking. Oh my gosh, I have no idea to use for shadowing here. This black is not really black. It's more like a blue black, so I don't even have a true black to use, which is also a bit disappointing. Two minutes? Oh my gosh. I got less than two minutes. I gotta quit looking at the timer. I'm not liking this branch at all. I gotta get some shadow under here. But I don't want it to blend in with the body, so okay. I'm not really gonna add a little green, I guess. Why not? Why not? Green. Green is all I have. I would really like to do something with this eye. This eye is just looking very, not very good. something to perk that eye up, make it look more realistic. I don't know. Forty oh my gosh. I have forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Holy cow. Holy cow. Okay, I'm coming down to the wire here. To the wire. Not really much shadowing I can do. Poor little guy. He just does not look very happy, does he? Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty disappointing. Um, yeah, so 10 minutes seems like a long time. And 10 minutes really is not a long time at all. Um, especially when you're, when you're working in watercolor and working with a very limited palette, which uh, I was. Um, I... At first I thought that working with a limited palette might go to my favor because I wouldn't have to sit and try and decide what colors to use, but um, yeah, I'm as I'm searching for true blacks and uh, 
and maybe some deeper browns um, and realizing that really I just only had about four or five colors to choose from um, that really kind of limited what it was that I was doing so um, yeah I probably I'm gonna finish this on my own because I really think that I could turn this into something that I would be proud of um, but this this whole thing here not it so um, all right well I appreciate you watching I consider this uh, 10 minute challenge to be an epic fail on my part but uh, hopefully I can uh, redeem myself um, by making this look just a tad bit better if I have just a little bit more time and um, so that's what I'm going to do so uh, for those of you artists who were able to complete uh, painting in 10 minutes I applaud you because this was very very difficult for me uh, to do so anyway thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time so yesterday I attempted to paint a kingfisher in 10 minutes and it didn't turn out exactly like I had expected it to, like I had hoped it would. Um, so I went ahead and worked on this guy a little bit more afterwards and I thought you might like to see what the finished painting looks like. So I happen to have him right here. And this is about 20 minutes of additional work that I put into this painting after the challenge was finished. And if you happen to be a supporter of mine over on Patreon, make sure you go over there and uh, you will be able to see me finishing this guy up in real time, as well as me giving a little bit of a critique on the core watercolor set that I was using when I was working on him uh, during the challenge. So um, I will have a link to that uh, below by the way and my initial thoughts uh, with this guy are that he's a little bland for my taste um, I generally work in very bold vivid color um, so I would have loved to have had the opportunity to have had added a little bit of uh, like electric blues some purples maybe a little bit of a uh, lime green in there but I didn't really have that opportunity with the palette that I was using but overall I'm pretty happy with him and I guess um, as far as the challenge goes, I just wanted to mention that I, even though I wasn't overly pleased with the results, um, I have to say that I learned a lot from it. Um, and basically what I learned and what I hope to take away from this and as I work on future paintings is that as artists, we tend to be perfectionists. We tend to work on our paintings uh, sometimes to the point of overkill and uh, doing something like this even if you're just doing it for yourself setting a 10 minute limit or a 20 minute limit and trying to finish something in a very short amount of time I think is a very good exercise because overall it teaches us to really not be so controlling of our work and not hypercritical of our work, um, which I know I am uh, a lot of the time. So um, this was particularly good for me because really it sort of brought me back to the idea of why I started painting in the first place, which is to have fun and to, um, to just roll with things and art is not perfect uh, art is very personal and what is perfect to one person won't be for another so we just need to paint for ourselves so anyway it was a really good challenge and i highly recommend it for anybody who uh who works either as a hobbyist or a professional artist so thank you for watching i greatly appreciate it if you got through the video this far and um i look forward to seeing you next time bye